shoot him or something. And then Bruce is like, uh, also just falls for it. And, and then there's, you know, the, uh, after all the scenes of hammering home the point that, you know, oversimplifying stuff, then Mostov tries to, apparently he thinks that he needs to justify, you know, when the, the fat hacker dude is sitting and he stops to, you know, of, of these people's surrogates when they are about to rape a woman. I don't know if that woman was actually a surrogate. If she was, I imagine that the, unless it was some kind of sick twisted thing, she would probably have, you know, hooked out of it. That is not at all a problem to do. So, anyway, they're trying to rape her, and he has, he feels the need to justify, you know, and he has to get a fucking warrant. What is that? I'm sorry. He, I'm sorry, Mr. Judge, whatever, authority figure. Can I, may I please, may I stop these two rapists from, I mean, they've already, as far as I could tell, they already got her pants off. And he has to, like, justify it. Oh, oh, we're the good guys. I, I'm sorry, did I miss something? Was, did, did they put something other on the screen that they meant to have in that scene? Did they last minute decide that it should be a rape that he stopped? Or, I don't know. The green blood was kind of excessive too. Okay, we get it. These are not humans and they're not that similar to humans. We get it. They don't have to bleed this weird green stuff. Well, what the fuck was with uh, Cam, James Cromwell, James Cromwell's son leaping off the balcony and then landing in the dance and then the, the cheap ass fucking joke of Oh, the, the hot girl was really a, you know, middle-aged fat guy. <laughs> Great job. I'm sorry, that joke is as old as the fucking internet itself. I don't know, 13 years, whatever. <laughs> Think of some new material. Seriously. That's just stupid. And, and what was with all the... the, the in, in general, the humor was pretty stupid. I'm sorry, I was just on the can. What the fuck is the point of surrogates if people are going to be that fucking forthcoming about their p personal stuff. I'm sorry. People in a fucking office like that, wasn't he a scientist, doctor, title, person, something? Why would he talk like that? That makes no sense. And the, the, the ending, Bruce Willis at the keyboard, you know, of course they have to push it so it's the very last second, you know, oh, press enter, why isn't it working? Enter, no, shift enter, and, you know, one second left on the fucking countdown, and it shuts down. Okay, that's, you know, I can live with that, but then are we supposed to actually think that he's going to not destroy the surrogates? I mean, basically, from the moment he got on the screen, apart from the, the first scene of him in the surrogate body, it was so clear he hated these fucking things. It's... I mean, I'm sorry. Good stories tend to have some kind of, you know, the character changes as the story goes along. Something happens. Nothing happened to anybody. Nobody changed. We found out more about Camden than we knew at the very first sight, but nobody changed in this fucking movie. Bruce Willis, at the beginning, he was pissed off at the machines. At the end, he got the power to kill them all, and he did. I don't even know why he hesitated. It was, you know, of course he was going to do that. He, he thought it was stupid, and he evidently didn't learn his lesson from, you know, those horrifying seconds of him being outside for the first time in years without the fucking surrogate where he could barely stand all the st and and the fucking surrogates collapsing I'm sorry that was comical that was not dramatic that was comical I heard people snicker and laugh in the theater the theater was like half full I don't think there was a single person who went <gasps> at least not audibly I really don't think that had the effect that they intended it to as several other things, but... And then you've got all the characters that just behave the way the script needs them to, that don't really have... Either they don't have motivation or their character motivation. I mean, 
basically, you can boil it down to you've got two characters. James Cromwell, Bruce Willis. That's it. Everybody else is just there, if they are even there. You could basically write out the female FBI agent and there would have been a couple of scenes of Bruce Willis talking to himself. That would have been it. There's no change. There's no nothing. They just needed someone, a familiar face, so that they could later turn her against. And that was it. There's... And where was the... There, there was just no follow-up on the fact that the VSI or VIS, whatever, VSI, I think, dude, the... The fucking company head tried to kill. You know, he didn't try to kill. He killed people. He had people killed. He he hired that uh, assassin dude through the police chief. Okay, it's you know once or twice removed. It's still murder. He had someone else commit murder. Why was there no? Did did we even see him? Was was he the guy with the smashed up face who did the weird? God damn. Or did we even see the guy? I don't even know, but it was certainly not mentioned that he was, you know, I mean, the police guy, you know, died because, um, Cromwell, you know, shot him with the taser gun thingy, virus uploader bullshit. What, what happened to the, the lead of the VSI, and, and why at the end of the movie, uh, are we just supposed to accept, okay, so they're not going to produce any more machines? Okay, he, you know, killed the on all the existing ones. So they're going to completely stop. That That's going to put a, lo a lot of people out of, uh, out of jobs, you know. That's going to create more unemployment if VSI suddenly has absolutely nothing to actually do. If, but yeah, and there's like, I don't know, two, maybe three action scenes. Very little of it is exciting at all. You know, there's the throw of the, the pole thingy. That's about it. Helicopter bit was not particularly exciting. Um, <clears throat> why did Jack Noseworthy seem to have, like, a ton of fucking facial scars the first time we see, you know, with the helmet he opens, you know, uh, meat bags. Then he, you know, next time we see him, he's just normal. He just, you know, age maybe, I don't know, maybe a single scar or something. But the first time, he looks like it's fucking Darkman under the, you know, what the fuck was that? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to comment. If a lot of people like these, maybe like this, maybe I'll do more, you know. Don't watch surrogates. You're better off. Trust me. I can almost... I'm almost certain that the comics are better. They gotta be. Graphic novels better. I may very well try to find those and... wash them most out of my brain. Also, Space Mutiny was real. Dancing in the future is ridiculous.